Linda Young and Water Science Linda Young is a scientist who studies water and how it interacts with light and electrons. She works at the U.S. Department of Energies, Argonne National Laboratory and the University of Chicago. She is an expert in the field of X-ray science, which uses powerful beams of X-rays to explore the structure and behavior of matter. What did Dr. Young discover? Dr. Young discovered that water has different structures and properties depending on how its molecules are arranged and how they move. She found that when water is exposed to infrared light, which is a type of light that we cannot see but can feel as heat, it forms a thick layer of structured water near the surface. Structured water is a type of water that has a hexagonal six-sided pattern of molecules, like this. This pattern is similar to the one found in snowflakes and ice crystals, but it is not frozen. Structured water can still flow and change shape but it is more stable and organized than normal water. Dr. Young also found that structured water has a negative charge, which means it has more electrons than protons. This charge makes it act like a battery that can store and deliver energy. Structured water can also separate charges, create flow, and affect various phenomena such as clouds, blood circulation, and chemical reactions. Dr. Young used a special microscope to observe how water behaves when it is exposed to infrared light. She also used a device called a free electron laser, which produces very intense and short pulses of X-rays to see how electrons move in real time in liquid water. She found that electrons can move very fast and far in water and that they can create waves and ripples in the water structure. Why is structured water important? Structured water is important because it is vital for life and health. Structured water helps living things to communicate, transport, and metabolize. Structured water also protects living things from damage and disease. Structured water is the water that fills most of your body and most of the living things on Earth. Structured water is also important because it has many potential applications for energy, drinking water, and medicine. For example, structured water can be used to filter water produce electricity and heal wounds structured water can also be enhanced by certain methods such as sunlight heat and natural substances how did dr young study structured water dr young studied structured water by doing experiments with water and light she used a special microscope to observe how water behaves when it is exposed to infrared light which is a type of light that we cannot see, but can feel as heat. She found that when water is exposed to infrared light, it forms a thick layer of structured water near the surface. She also found that this layer grows bigger and thicker as more light is applied. Dr. Young was inspired by the work of other scientists who studied water and its properties, such as Albert Schenkjörgi, Gilbert Ling, and Gerald Polo. She also challenged the prevailing view that water is a simple and uniform substance. She showed that water is complex and diverse, and that it can change its structure and function depending on the environment. Dr. Young wrote several papers and gave many talks about her findings and ideas. She is recognized worldwide as a pioneer and visionary of water research, Laura Maestro and water science. Laura Maestro is a scientist who studies water and how it changes under different conditions. She works at the University of Oxford and other institutions. She is an expert in the field of physical chemistry, which uses math and physics to understand the behavior of molecules and atoms. What did Dr. Maestro discover? Dr. Maestro discovered that water might exist into different liquid states, depending on the temperature and pressure. She found that water has different physical properties, such as density, compressibility, and refractive index, between 50 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. Density is how much mass a substance has in a given volume. Compressibility is how much a substance can be squeezed or expanded. Refractive index is how much a substance bends light. Dr. Maestro measured these properties of water using a special device called a diamond amble cell, 
which can create very high pressures by squeezing a tiny amount of water between two diamonds. She also used a device called a synchrotron, which produces very bright and powerful x-rays to see how the water molecules are arranged and how they move. She found that water behaves differently above and below 60 degrees Celsius. Below 60 degrees Celsius, water molecules are more loosely packed and more compressible. Above 60 degrees Celsius, water molecules are more tightly packed and less compressible. She also found that water molecules change their shape and orientation when they cross this temperature threshold. Why is this discovery important? This discovery is important because it challenges the conventional view that water is a simple and uniform substance. It shows that water is complete complex and diverse, and that it can change its structure and function depending on the environment. It also helps us to understand how water behaves in different situations, such as in the Earth's crust, in the atmosphere, or in living cells. This discovery is also important because it has many potential applications for science, technology, and medicine. For example, it could help us to design better materials, devices, and drugs that use water as a component or a solvent. It could also help us to explore the origins and evolution of life, which depends on water. How did Dr. Maestro study water? Dr. Maestro studied water by doing experiments with water and light. She used a special device called a diamond anvil cell to create very high pressures on a tiny amount of water. She also used a device called a synchrotron to produce very bright and powerful x-rays that can penetrate the water and reveal its structure and dynamics. Dr. Maestro was inspired by the work of other scientists who studied water and its properties, such as Albert Schuntjörgi, Gilbert Ling, Gerald Pollock, and Linda Young. She also challenged the prevailing view that water is a simple and uniform substance. She showed that water is complex and diverse, and that it can change its structure and function depending on the environment. Dr. Maestro wrote several papers and gave many talks about her findings and ideas. She is recognized worldwide as a pioneer and visionary of water research. Rene Quinton and Marine Therapy Rene Quinton was a scientist who loved the sea and the life in it. He was born in France in 1866 and grew up near the ocean. He was curious about how living things use water and energy. He studied many fields, such as biology, physiology, geology and aviation. He also wrote poetry and novels. What did Quinton discover? Quinton discovered that seawater is very similar to the fluid that fills our cells and blood. He called this fluid plasma, and he said that it is the source of life and health. He also said that seawater is the original plasma, because life started in the sea millions of years ago. Quinton thought that seawater could help heal many diseases and injuries, because it could restore the balance and function of the cells and blood. He called this idea marine therapy, and he tested it by injecting seawater into animals and humans. He also opened clinics where people could drink or bathe in seawater. Quinton reported his results in his book The Seawater, Organic Medium, which he published in 1904. He said that marine therapy could cure many conditions such as infections, malnutrition, anemia, and tuberculosis. He also said that marine therapy could improve the immune system the nervous system, and the metabolism. Why is marine therapy important? Marine therapy is important because it is based on the idea that seawater is the natural and universal medicine for life. Quinton believed that seawater contains all the elements and minerals that living things need, and that it can balance and nourish the cells and blood. He also believed that seawater can adapt and change to different situations and that it can support and stimulate the natural healing process. Marine therapy is also important because it has many potential applications for health and wellness. For example, marine therapy can be used to hydrate the body by providing water and electrolytes, detoxify the body by removing toxins and waste, regenerate the body by providing nutrients and energy, protect the body, 
by boosting the immune system and the skin. How did Quinton study marine therapy? Quinton studied marine therapy by doing experiments with seawater and living beings. He used a special device to collect seawater from the ocean and he filtered and sterilized it to make it safe and clean. He also adjusted the salinity of the seawater to match the salinity of the plasma, and he called this isotonic seawater. Quinton injected isotonic seawater into animals and humans, and he observed the effects on their health and behavior. He also gave isotonic seawater to people to drink and he made them soak in seawater baths. He measured various parameters, such as temperature, pulse, blood pressure, and blood count, and he recorded the changes and improvements. Quinton was inspired by the work of other scientists who studied water and its properties, such as Albert Schenk-Georgi, Gilbert Ling, and Gerald Polo. He also challenged the prevailing view that water is a simple and uniform substance. He showed that water is complex and diverse, and that it can change its structure and function depending on the environment. Quinton wrote several books and papers about his findings and ideas. He is recognized worldwide as a pioneer and visionary of marine therapy. He died in Paris in 1925, at the age of 58.